Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi that loves her city and also loves traveling and today we are in the city of Valencia which is the third biggest city in Spain right after Madrid and Barcelona and the city is known for its futuristic building, lovely beach and let's not forget the charming old city where we are at the moment. In this video I want to show you what are the best things to do in Valencia. Are you ready? hold on hold on but before we get into all that i really need to tell you more about the city like where is it located which are the main areas and also get ready to hit you up with fun facts when you least expect it and if you want to see more content like this one don't forget to like this video and also hit the subscribe bell button down below the city of Valencia it is very strategically located because it is on the eastern coast of the country. Also, it is just one hour and a half far away by train from the city of Madrid or also it's like 300 kilometers away from Barcelona. And something even more interesting is that there are daily departures to the Balearic Islands from the city of Valencia. And yes, you're totally right, this includes both Ibiza and Palma de Mallorca. And let me introduce you guys to the city of Valencia so you kind of know what to expect from this video. First of all, we have the historical center, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. Then Rosafa, which is kind of like the Soho of Valencia. Then, of course, the modern part and the bio park, which has agriculture and vegetation from Africa. Can you believe that? And quite similar to it, it is La Huerta, which has vegetation as well. And let's not forget the lovely beach and its surroundings. Getting around Valencia, I have to say, it's quite dizzy because once you land at the airport, you can directly take the metro from there or you can also buy a tourist card. And here on the right, you can see the prices. If you like cycling, Valencia would be the perfect place for this. You see like a lot of alleys which are made exactly for cycling. Also here down in the park. So you can rent a bike and cycle around the city. I'm more of a walking person because I don't really trust myself with a bike. It requires too much balance. So I think we'll just continue on walking. Hola amigos and welcome to La Ciudad de las Artes y de las Ciencias. This massive, stunning complex has an opera house, a science museum, 3D cinema and also an aquarium where we'll go in a bit. Amigos, come here, come closer. I have a couple of fun facts for you. Oh. Did you know that this whole amazing, beautiful complex was actually designed and constructed by an architect which is here from Valencia. His name is Santiago Calatrava and another fun fact, the constructions of this place started in 1996 but they were actually finished later in 2005 so it took almost a decade to build this place but I have to say it was totally worth it. And something which I read and I really couldn't way to try if it will actually work is the remarkable echo in the building of the hemispheric where if two people stand at the opposite pillars inside of the eye they can actually speak to each other this building it's really huge do you think it will work and here is us testing it out so ben stayed on one side and i went to the other one let's see let's see amore Amore! Ah, ti sento! <laughs> uh, tell to the subscribers what should they do. They should, they should like and subscribe the video. Yes, you guys heard that. You should like and subscribe. Amore, turn. You can talk like that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't need to face the wall like this. <laughs> I'm quite curious. How many meters do you think this is? Oh, it's 50 meters. 50? Why you didn't read the and another fun fact, did you know that the cost of this place was 900 million? It was actually budgeted for 300 million euros, but after that the project cost three times more. And there were actually a lot of locals which were angry for the waste of public money. And uh, until today you will find like some people from Valencia that are quite angry about this place and they have mixed feelings, but as a tourist I have to say I think it was totally worth it. 
Okay, I have to be honest with you. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go to the aquarium because the entrance was 30 euros and yeah, you know I'm always on a budget so I wasn't sure if this one fits into my budget but after that I understood that this is the largest aquarium in Europe and it has uh, also dolphins, belugas, sea lions and cute little penguins and I have to say in the end it was totally worth it. If you see this building right behind me, don't you get the feeling that we are in Rome? Because this is actually the Plaza del Toro, but it really looks like the Colosseum in Rome, don't you think? I was quite surprised to read that in this bull ring they are still organizing the Corrida and it is actually not banned in Valencia. Personally, I don't really approve the bullfighting, I don't know, what do you guys think? front of the main cathedral of Valencia. Of course it is called La Catedral de Valencia which was built over a mosque in the 13th century and something interesting about it is that it, the style it's mostly gothic but the side chapels are actually neoclassical and this bell over there it's called El Miguelete and you can go in there but you have to climb upstairs 207 stairs which do you think we can convince Ben to do it? Wait what? 207 steps to go up. I didn't sign up for this, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, but the view is incredible so I think we will go. Now I'm going to take you to one of the main squares which is also one of the prettiest ones. It's called Plaza de la Virgen. I'm going to show you but basically this is where the old Roman Forum was and uh, just a tip like this is the perfect place where you can sit down have a drink and uh, just relax honestly one of the things which i love about uh, the main squares here in spain is that they're quite wide and there's like so much space look at that And if churches and like Baroque is your thing, you should definitely visit the church of uh, St. Nicholas that recently opened. But just a note, this is like an actual working church, not just a museum. And we went during the mass and yeah, it wasn't the best time to film. And guys, now we are at La Lonja, which was Valencia's commodity exchange. It was built in the 15th century when the city was booming. Now, I cannot explain to you how big and beautiful this place is. And also, let's not forget it is a UNESCO heritage site. Uh, yeah, don't mind me. I was just trying to take a cool shot, but I don't really think it worked. Do you guys like it? And one of the best things about this place is the free entrance. Can you wear the mask, please? Thank you. And another total must in the city is the central market, but I made a whole video about street food and especially about the market, so I will have it linked in the description down below and you can also click here on the right. Date. We are at the beach of Valencia, which would be a total must stop for everyone because now that I'm here, it's exactly the 18th of October, but the weather is still great and I can see that people were still here just taking some sun and this is what we should have done as well. But let me show you how does the beach look and also how amazing the sand is. I really hope you enjoyed this video from Valencia and I will see you in my next one. Stay from there. Love you all. Bye. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more.